Do you remember that time Capcom told Nintendo to put 4 gigabytes of RAM into the Nintendo Switch instead of 2 so we could get games like Resident Evil 7? That was a long time ago. But the day has come. Resident Evil 7 has now been announced for the Switch. But it's it's not normal. Let's talk about it. What's going on everyone? Active Sin here and today we're talking about Resident Evil 7 Cloud Edition coming to the Nintendo Switch and yes Cloud Edition. I don't mean Cloud from Final Fantasy. I mean the power of the cloud. The one above us. That cloud is bringing Resident Evil 7 to the Nintendo Switch. What does this mean? Well, we're not getting a traditional physical copy or digital download of Resident Evil 7 for the Nintendo Switch. This is a cloud streaming version of the game for the Nintendo Switch. Currently, it's for Japan only. It launches on May 24th, so at sometime next week. Uh, apparently, you only need to download 45 megabytes of the game. Maybe that's some sort of key to access the cloud. Who knows? But you will be able to play 15 minutes for free and after that you would pay 2,000 yen which is about $20 and that will give you a ticket this ticket allows you access to the game for 180 days now this Japanese version of the game does not have English voices or English subtitles it's just Japan only so this game might not even come to the West or maybe they'll port it later down the road by port I mean just translate it because we're not actually getting the game or streaming the game so <clears throat> very interesting there's only one other game that does this sort of streaming on the switch I can't remember which one but that's again is a Japan only game so this is a, a relatively new thing so Resident Evil being cloud streamed now there are some advantages of this and there are some big disadvantages let's kind of go over both here so advantage of this is the version of the game can look a lot better than if it was running natively on the switch because we know the switch has relatively anemic hardware so if you can stream the game through the cloud your version of the game could look more like the ps4 xbox one version or maybe if you have really good internet it could look similar to like an xbox one x or pc version of the game that's a pretty cool benefit but again you have to have pretty high quality internet to do stuff like that which leads to the negative point you need to be connected to the internet to run this game and as we know the switch's main selling point is the portability so it's gonna be hard to take this game around with you and have a solid Wi-Fi connection everywhere you go enough to stream I don't think so but if you play mostly at home docked with the internet connection this is actually pretty cool if you play like that if you take your switch around a lot this is kind of dumb obviously you would want a real version of the game for the nintendo switch now we don't know the details maybe capcom couldn't get the game running on the switch to a playable uh to, to a playable state maybe it didn't meet their standards who knows if capcom has standards <laughs> uh maybe they couldn't find a way to get the game on the cartridge but we've seen how they handle that like with the Mega Man collection oh god these guys are terrible but this is them bringing the game to the switch they did promise at some point that this game would reach the switch maybe this is the only way they could do it Personally, I don't think that's true because we've seen D Doom on the Switch and Doom is a better looking game and a faster paced game than Resident Evil, so I don't know. Maybe this is just them trying something new. The idea is interesting. The concept is cool. I like it. For, for me, it's good because I play my Switch primarily at home. I take it around with me, yes, but I don't play it outside nearly even close to as much as I do in docked mode. So for me, something like this cloud streaming stuff, it doesn't really affect me. But at the same time, I have the PS4 Pro, I have a PC, so I would just play it there anyways. But if you're someone who plays the Switch primarily and uh, you play a lot at home, then this might be something cool for you. And the idea of this, cloud streaming on the Switch, it's an interesting way to get third party games on the Switch. Maybe bigger games that wouldn't normally run, maybe this is 
how Nintendo is going to get third party support in the future. Because as we see already, games like Doom push the system to its absolute limits. And Wolfenstein 2, stuff like that. And there are always lesser versions. They're 720p or below that. And they run at half the frame rate of the other versions like the PlayStation and Xbox stuff. There's a lot of concessions made for the Nintendo Switch. Now, if they can stream it through the cloud and get rid of those problems, I, that's a win. As long as you primarily play at home. If you're someone who plays on the go, then definitely you're going to want the native version on the cartridge or downloaded. Because you're not going to be able to get a stable Wi-Fi connection fast enough to be able to stream the games. That's that's just not reality. But, this is interesting. Um, guys, I don't know. What, what do you guys think about this? I can see why people will be very mad about this. But for me personally, because it doesn't affect me, I can't get too mad. I would prefer if they brought the game to the Switch as well. Like maybe you have a physical version and a cloud streaming version. That would be ideal. The only thing that I don't like is their um, purchasing model. Because you don't actually own the game. You're renting it for 180 days for $20. Where at this point you can buy the game on the other consoles for $20 and have the actual physical disc so the pricing is kind of kind of ridiculous because of the time frame you get to keep the game only 180 days i don't think that's long enough but uh it is what it is that can be something that always gets fixed later now guys let me know what you think about this do you like the idea of cloud stream the power of the cloud do i like the idea of the power of the cloud coming to the nintendo switch could this fix third party games coming to the Nintendo Switch or would you rather they don't do things like this and just get the games ported to the Switch on the cartridge even if it means sacrificing graphics, frame rate, possibly even content as well. Let's talk about it. Comment section below. Make sure to hit that like button guys, share the video, hit the notification bell, but most importantly, have a great day. I will see you later. Bye.